Good morning, friends and family, and family and friends. Happy Friday the 15th, everyone. We made it another week under our belts, and many of our freedoms being returned to us. We should be cautiously optimistic and consider it a huge win-win with finally moving forward with life and the awesome summer that's ahead of us all. This morning, sunrise will be at 532 and sunset will be at 811, giving us 14 hours and 39 minutes of glorious daylight to enjoy. Presently, it's 55 degrees outside, give or take a little bit, depending on exactly where you live. You know the routine. Well, now that we made it through our rainy Thursday, let's move on to some awesome weather. Today, you can expect mostly sunny skies. Very little chance of rain. High temps will be in the mid-70s for us, a little cooler by the lake. Winds will be out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Heck yeah, sounds like awesome Freedom Friday weather to kick off the weekend. We'll take it. All right, from our family of friends celebrating birthdays today. Happy birthday to Rick Tucker, Ryan Krieger, Stephanie Lee, Alexis Mayer, Donna Hayes Parker, Clint Smith, Dave Benty, Michael Messier, and last but not least, a family member from across the little pond, Lake Michigan. Happy birthday to Jackie Fuller Beeson. Our celebrity birthday shout out starts with a young actor who landed a spot on the popular television series Spooksville in the role as Watch, which landed him a role, a reoccurring role in the 2015 CW series I Zombie as Evan. Nick Percha turns 23 today. Our next celebrity is a legendary Baltimore Ravens linebacker and 13 time Pro Bowler who was named the MVP of Super Bowl 35. Additionally, he received the NFL's Defensive Player of the Year Award in 2000 and in 2003. Ray Lewis turns 45 today. Our next celebrity is another legend from the football world. He was just an awesome, explosive running back. Unfortunately for us, he was a Dallas Cowboys running back. He retired with an NFL record of 18,355 rushing yards over the course of his career. He was selected to eight Pro Bowls, led the NFL in rushing four times, and won three Super Bowl championships. After his retirement, he won the third season of Dancing with Stars with Cheryl Berkey at his side. He always has a smile on his face and he just comes across as an awesome person. Emmett Smith turns 51 today. And our last celebrity shout out of the day is for a member of British royalty. She is the second eldest grandchild of Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, who is known for her professional equestrian talents. She won a silver medal at the London 2012 Olympics as part of the British equestrian team. Princess Zara Phillips turns 39 today. All right, moving on to this day in history. <clears throat> on today's date in 1817, the Religious Society of Friends, Quakers, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, opened an asylum named the Asylum for the Relief of Persons Deprived of Their Use of Their Reason. Long name. It is still open today, but now under the name Friends Hospital. On today's date in 1922, the famed aviator, aviator Amelia Earhart has issued her pilot's license. She was the 16th woman to be issued a pilot's license by the Federation Aeronautica International. And on today's date in 1940, nylon stockings first go on sale across the U.S. Stronger and cheaper than silk stockings, they were an instant hit. Selling, selling out all 4 million pairs in 4 days. Prior to this, they were only avail available in Wilmington, Delaware stores, home of DuPont, where they were manufactured. Additionally, you had to prove you were a Wilmington resident in order to buy them. Hmm. On today's date, 1981, the 20 millionth Volkswagen Beetle came off production line at Volkswagen plant in Pueblo, Mexico. Another big milestone. And one last story about the final frontier. In 2019, findings from China's Cheng4 rover to the moon suggest a huge asteroid crater on the far side of the moon. The impact that was so great that it cracked the entire way through the crust and reached the mantle below. It was published in the Na Nature, uh, the <laughs> magazine of Nature. Nature. Uh, you imagine if something like that happened in our day and age to see something like that? Oh my God. <laughs> All right, there's our comedy corner. This one is a half joke and a half riddle. How can you make the number seven even? Remove the letter S. <laughs> Today is National Chocolate Chip Day, National Peace Officer Memorial Day, National Pizza Party Day, National Endangered Species Day, National Defense Transportation Day, National Bike to Work Day, 
National NASCAR Day, and National Nylon Stockings Day. Today's morning motivational is a simple, undeniable truth. Some people will be critical no matter what you do. Don't take it personally. More times than not, it's more about them than you. You know, this one is absolutely true because even when I think back to times I've been frustrated with a person or a situation, I realize that many times it's because I a pet peeve was activated or I took something personally for no reason. Um, the older I get, the more I find myself asking why something was said instead of wasting time on what was said. So, yeah, take it for what it's worth. Like we said yesterday, you know, assume positive intent when you can, but don't carry someone else's baggage when you run across someone who just seems like they have a chip on their shoulder. Do you no good. All right, hey, everyone. We forgot to ask you guys earlier in the week what you thought of our new real estate command center with a... Uh, with the amount of information that you need to know to and absorb to stay on top of the current real estate market, it's visually and virtually pretty accurate. While we're on the topic of virtual reality, we thought we would take a moment to introduce you to our first employee. He started working for us a little over three years ago now, and he is a virtual rock star in our industry, pun intended. His name is Jeffrey Port, but we call him Jeff. When he's in the field creating a 3D model, he captures everything from ultraviolet to infrared and everything in between. He even captures measurements and dimensions of objects around him. We take the information that he captures and we turn it into an awesome virtual environment that you can explore freely. It's a phenomenal experience if you have the VR gear, you know, but it's not necessary because you can use a cell phone, an iPad, or a computer. It doesn't make a difference. It's just awesome no matter what platform you use. And that's one of the things, one of the reasons Bell and I fell in love with the equipment that we use right away. Um, we do see a lot of weak virtual reality, reality modeling in the marketplace where they don't properly scan a location or they obviously clearly don't understand how to get the most out of the equipment they're using. Um, you will never get stuck in a room in one of our models and we would ask you to compare our work to others. We really do love what we do and, and we really think that it, it shows clearly in our VR models. Well, anyways, you hear us talk about VR this and virtual reality that quite a bit and we realize we never introduce you to our MVP, Jeff. If you have a home to sell or a business to market, maybe you want a proper documentation for insurance, our scans do capture content and structure all in one. Heck, we can help make construction blueprints of a current structure. Just give us a call today and we'd be happy to think outside of the box with you. Never cost you a penny anyway, so. Well, we'll be jumping back into our virtual plane and headed to our next destination where we will continue our journey together next week. We hope you can join us. Glenda and I do appreciate the time that you spend with us each and every day. Our goal is to offer a mix of entertainment and education in each and every one of our Morning Minute posts. After all, knowledge is power, and you know, we love to share what we come across with you guys. We certainly are do hope that you are enjoying the experience. Please continue to like, follow, and share us with your friends and family, and that one is so important, and we do appreciate it. Thank you again for your time. Make it an awesome, great day, and have a fantastic weekend. And remember, you do have the power. We'll talk to you soon.